Welcome back. Today is a big day. I have been waiting to tour this trailer since I found it online. I don't know how many of you are like me and you sit online and you look through every trailer brand and every trailer and you want all these specifics and you finally feel like you found the one that checks the boxes. And I think that's what this trailer is. We've been looking for a long time. We love our trailer, but you know, I always like to look and maybe I can convince Kara that we need to trade ours in and snag this new trailer. Fingers crossed. It checks the boxes, and then I can convince Kara to drop a chunk of change. We have a Vanley Beacon 34 RLB. It is awesome because most luxury brand trailers like this don't come in this size. They're like 38 to 44 foot. You need a dually or larger to tow them, and we don't want a dually. And this trailer checks that box for us. So let's go through it and see if it's what we're looking for. And maybe it's what you're looking for as well in a luxury smaller unit. Every beacon comes with full body paint and we love full body paint. I know a lot of people don't think full body paint is worth it, but in my opinion, it's very much worth it. This one has this nice light colored white, but then it has this, is it black or maroon? I mean, it just depends on the light. It, it's a really good looking paint job. You have LEDs right up here in the front. Just a really nice overall look. Starting right up here in the front, comes pre-prepped with the Furion solar charger right here. And down below, it is already prepped for a generator. Another nice thing with this, it has hydraulic leveling. It's one of those things you get on these higher end fifth wheels is the hydraulic leveling that is really really nice so you have that six point auto level hydraulic now I don't know if I would want the generator because that adds a lot of weight to it and we just haven't really needed one that often but this one comes pre-prepped with it right over here we have our controls for our six point auto level I like them right here easy access not behind a door or anything but I would worry that maybe they'd get moisture on them or damaged or something. I, I know there's ways that you can take care of that, but it probably should just come from the factory that way. One thing that stands out with this beacon is its weights. It has a gross vehicle weight rating of 18,000, but a cargo capacity of 4980, so basically 5,000 pounds. That gives us a dry weight of around 13,000 pounds. So you have almost 5,000 pounds of carrying capacity, and that comes from right back here. This trailer coming equipped with two 8,000 pound axles. Van Lay really beefed up their axles on all their beacons come with 8,000s, which I love. And this one being the smallest one, the lightest one, they didn't switch to 7,000 pound axles. They kept their 8,000 pound axles on this. And it gives it a huge payload capacity, but also, we don't have that much payload in the trailer we have now, so I don't think we'd ever load 5,000 pounds on this to make it so that our truck can't tow it. With a 13,000 pound dry weight, that puts you right around probably 2,600 for your pin weight, and when you're fully loaded, 18,000 pounds, that puts you probably in that 3,500 pound category. But that's 5,000 pounds of payload, that's a lot. This trailer would maybe work for us because we wouldn't load 5,000 pounds in it and would keep that payload to 3,000 or below. Coming around the side, we have our bedroom slide out here with a Schwintex slide. I like that it's not cable driven. Kara's parents have been having problems with their cable driven slide on their mobile suite. I'm not the hugest Schwintex fan, but it's, I think it's better than the cable. Down here, we have our propane. Yep. Propane bottle down here. Nice slam latches and really nice thick baggage doors. Van Lay puts a lot of effort into high quality, um, just like they would have on their Tiffin motorhomes. Something you don't even usually see right here, you even have a little bumper pad. Usually these doors will just flip open and smack in, but the little bumper pad keeps it off. Just little things like that go a huge way to make this stand out as a really, really nice trailer. Since this is the 34 
Um, it, it's a little bit smaller than a lot, so you cut down your storage space a little bit. Here you have your wet bay with all your stuff here. Beacons do a great job of the separate wet bay where everything is separated and no stickers or anything that are going to peel off, just last forever. And then you have the rest of your storage compartment in here. Another great thing, and I've mentioned it before, and all RV manufacturers should listen to me, doors sliding to the side, or opening to the side, rather than up where you're gonna hit your head on them. You're already gonna hit your head on the slide, you don't wanna hit it on your head on the door too. One thing that separates the beacons from, let's say, the mobile suites, not quite as thick as sidewalls, so you're losing a little bit of insulation, but also not as heavy, and they don't have as big of frames. They have a great frame, it's just not as big as the one that comes on mobile suites, which is probably their direct competition. Right here we have our power cord reel. Just another little feature that's really nice that they take from their motorhomes. Van Lee being part of the Tiffin family, they just put a lot of these little features that you find in the higher end motorhomes in these fifth wheels. Really nice. Most of the side of this trailer is covered by awnings. You have your main awning right here, then you have your awning over the slide as well. Nice big windows. I mean, look at the size of those. And you can see how nice this full body paint is. LCI solid steps and the main storage compartment with magnets to hold everything up. Like I said before, you sacrifice a little bit of storage area with the trailer this size but you're going to be able to get it in so many more places. Those big 40 footers are hard to get into places and this being 35 feet, you lose out on a little bit of storage, maybe a little bit of living space, but I think it gives more options. Plus you're still getting an amazing trailer. Kind of interesting, the inverters right here in the storage bay, usually it's over in a separate compartment, but it does give you a lot more access to things. And then right here you have your solar control if you install solar panels. Well, let's get started on the interior of this unit. You can see right away in that gray and white color scheme, which makes it so light and airy in here. Right here on my left, you can see there's quite a bit of storage right here. Got your cabinetry below, some drawers underneath, a little extra storage for what have you. Also storage above the fridge, which I never can use. Fridge in here is a residential LG. I'm seeing that LG theme throughout this trailer. Uh, residential meaning electric only, not both propane and electric. Some people like residentials for the size. Uh, we personally would like to go with an RV fridge just for the purpose of you can choose the propane, you can choose the electric depending on where you're staying. Island here has a fairly nice sink. It is two small ones versus one gigantic one. Very nice island space to work with. It's got a big large drawer here behind me as well as outlets so you can run whatever you need to run. This drawer could possibly be a dishwasher if you prefer. On this back wall there's a lot more cooking space as well as your island. A unit like this, you don't get a lot of full-time space for cooking. Standard microwave above, you got your range here above low, an oven for those who actually like to bake or cook. Something I noticed about this cupboard is it would be nice for garbage. <laughs> There's typically nowhere to put garbage. Coming into the living space, you can see there's no TV, but in fact, there really is. This is the televator option where you can drop it down if you don't need it. And if you would like it, you can bring it up. It's nice that you can put it down because you're getting an extra window, a fairly large size window as well. This TV is an LG smart TV, so pretty fancy. Down below, you've got your sound bar as well as your fireplace. Both are the Furion brand. Coming into the seating area, this is a hideaway bed. 
that if you remember Tip and Van Lee, they have custom furniture in their units made for them. Continuing over, you got your nice recliners, controls here, as well as some power ports as well. Now for our dining area, you can see there's ample room for four chairs. Jesse's actually backing up so you can catch this giant window to this dining area. Boy, is this thing bring in some light. I also want to take note of the balances. Wood, not fabric. Crown molding just tops it off, giving you that designer look. Crown molding in this unit gives you that residential feel. It doesn't feel like you're out camping in your old, old trailer. You feel like you're at home. I want to take note of the lighting above. You've got several can lights as well as your inserted lights as well as LED lights. You can get some light for whatever situation you are in here. I do want to point out the floor and the slide right here. Usually there's a great big huge hump, but in this case it is fairly flat. Good seamless transition right there from slide to floor. And there is no carpet, which helps keep any pet dander down, easily cleanable with a broom. It's nice. Let's head on up to the rest of the trailer here. Starting out, you've got your control center right here at a touch. Bathroom area, I'm gonna show you before you get up here, a nice sliding door. Nice thing about this sliding door is typically you don't have room to open it either way. So this tucks right into your wall and you're not worrying about hitting a door or squeezing into your bathroom. Also something I've noted is the bathroom can be usable while the slides are in. Here is Jesse doing the shower test. It's pretty big. It's a little bit tight, but not bad. I like this little bench thing. I mean, if I put that up, that gives me a ton more room. Oh, that makes it way better. That's why I was so crammed over here. It is nice that you can fold that bench out of the way. It's not just always down in your way. I don't know how sturdy it would be for somebody my weight. I mean, I'm like 190 pounds to sit on it, but I don't know, probably fine for Kara. Should we test it before we buy it? It feels pretty dang sturdy. I mean, yeah. It, it's not moving or wiggly or whatever. Other, yeah. other features in this bathroom is the nice towel rack. There is also this corner storage. It actually shares with the kitchen pantry, so it's not too big. It's deep though. As well as you've got your sink and vanity here that gives you a little extra space there. Nice little medicine cabinet right above the sink. Yes. Nice to keep your toothpaste and all that stuff. Backsplash, it does. It's a tile. Yeah, it seems like a, a nice. A real tile backsplash. Real tile backsplash. Sink here, you do have a little bit of space if you wanted to set up a toothbrush cup or whatever may be. And full storage below on that. One thing that Vanley does is on these covers that would hit, they put these little things to keep them from hitting so that way you don't need up your covers. A uh, toilet we haven't mentioned yet. <laughs> My knees don't hit. I'm 5'10. I think there's one guy that would call this a prime pooping position. I forget his name. He does lots of videos. I'm sure you've seen him. But you have room. Your knees aren't up to your chin. And a little bidet. I never used one, but it might be and nice. And your toilet paper's right there. Now moving into the master bedroom. I'm gonna start right back here in the back. This is your washer dryer option if you would like it. Or just some extra hanging space. Lots of room. 
All of these closet doors do slide. It's nice that they're just really smooth on the track. You don't have doors opening, competing. Nice space in here as well, hanging. The little pocket cubbies, shelving. Sorry, a little dark in here. Nice configuration. Looks like we've got a king size bed with the bamboo brand that they've been going with this year. Nice headboard, it looks like a faux leather or a leatherette. Nice detail around it. More wood valances. The nice crown molding. I am noticing there's not any nightstands. Typically I like to have a glass of water, put my glasses down. Some people like to have their CPAPs. None of that for you. Right here's a good example of the blackout shades for nighttime, as well as just your regular shades. Nice rolling spring that catches. Also on this side, you've got your two dressers, nice four drawer, as well as this lower two drawer. Nice sliding to them. Eyesore of the room, the TV. Very good size for a bedroom, I must say. Also in that LG brand. Extra details in this room, more molding that just brings in that residential feel. This unit has been a pleasure to tour. It is beautiful, it is very well detailed, very functional as well. Even though it's on that smaller size, it still has the designer look to it. If you are interested in this trailer, we will have Castle Country's information down below. Price point on their website for this trailer is around 109,000, but feel free to contact them for any negotiating. We just want to thank Castle Country for letting us come and enjoy this trailer today. Thanks again for joining us. Remember that click and subscribe. We do appreciate it. And above all, enjoy your weekend.